The Ospreys European Rugby Champions Cup campaign continues this weekend when the Ospreys travel to France to play Clermont Auvergne on Sunday afternoon. Join us now as we look ahead to the game with James King and Eli Walker. James, important we got our European campaign off to a good start. We did that on Sunday with a big win at the Liberty against Exeter. What are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, you know, obviously Exeter, a quality side, um, a second in the Premiership at the moment. They had three three wins on the bounce coming here, so um, obviously to turn them over, that's, that's, that's really good for us because, uh, you know, if you're not winning your home games in this competition, it's, it's a very slim chance that you're going to get out into the, to the quarterfinals. It was a really tight game, two evenly matched teams. Second half, we just managed to pull away. What was the difference in the two, do you think? Yeah, you know, obviously Josh's, Josh's turnover try, you know, that was a big big turning point in the game, but, you know, I think we came in at half-time, you know, we were still in the game at that point, we, you know, knew what we had to do and we just executed it well in the second half. This weekend, we got a Clement Auvergne, it's a completely different prospect for us. You know, have you looked into them, what are you expecting from the French Giants? Yeah, I mean, I think they've got 23 home games on the bounce that they've won, so, um, you know, at the moment people, you know, they don't have much expectations for us out there, but, you know, we're, we're not underestimating ourselves, we're going out there, you know, to, to try and win the game. So one of those things, we, people didn't think we'd get anything, we went to Racing Metro last year. We put together a game plan that almost came off, we were two points behind, a couple of points behind going to the goals in minutes, and it's perhaps one of the better performances of the season. Is it a case of perhaps looking at that for inspiration and building on it this year? Yeah, you know, we, all, we always do seem to, to perform well in those games where, you know, people don't have any expectations on us. Like you said, the Racing game was a tremendous effort from the boys, we came really, really close to, uh, to winning that game. And yourself personally? You've been wearing the number eight shirt the last couple of weeks to great effect. You can add that now to four, five, six, seven. You've all for the Ospreys. How are you enjoying at number eight? And do you see a future there for yourself? Or is it again play where the team needs you? Yeah, I think it's a bit of that to be honest. Um, you know, I am enjoying, enjoying playing. I enjoy playing in the back row. So, uh, you know, I used to play at eight in college as well. So uh, it was a bit of relearning the skill again, but obviously at a much higher level. And who's the advice coming from? Is it coming from the scrum halves? Is it coming from other number eight back rows, or is it a collective effort? Uh, all of them, really. You know, the coaches working with the communication at the nine, even you know, Bakes, Bakes as well. You know, obviously he's been been playing eight a lot more more than I have. So, you know, I'm still you know like, taking tips off him as well, and taking tips off tips as well. Tips, off tips as well. Everybody needs a superhero and it's the jersey that Ospreyly deserves. The new bat jersey has been revealed and will be worn for the first time in the Ospreys v Cardiff Blues match on Saturday the 28th of November. The bat jersey will help raise funds for good causes as the 23 playing jerseys will be handed over to charitable organisations and community groups to be used for fundraising purposes. Anyone can be the Dark Knight as the shirt is available for pre-order now. Tickets are on sale now for the Derby match against Cardiff Blues on Saturday the 28th of November. Visit the ticket office or purchase online on ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets. Print at home and beat the match day queues. The last few spaces for Tag Fest are still available. If you're part of an under 7 or under 8 team and would like to participate in a day of Tag Rugby followed by the Ospreys v Blues match, call Suki Heyer on 01792616512 or email suki.heyer at ospreysrugby.com to secure your place now. Eli, great start to the European campaign last Sunday. A big win against the Exeter Chiefs who've been flying high in the Premiership. It's a perfect uh, ground for us to push on in this competition. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're all like really happy and excited for the performance we put in. Um, but come on, this week is going to be you know definitely a, a different kettle of fish. Um, it's the type of place where we don't want to go and go into our shells and stuff. But I, you know, we've got a, a decent game plan and you know hopefully execute it on the weekend. Looking at the exit of the game, we started like you know we came out like a house on fire at the start. <coughs> Got pegged back in into a bit of a fight. Dexter went in half time in front. What was the half time message from the coaches? Because we came out like a different team in the second half and really dominated. Um, yeah, I think just key points were uh, from Steve just just going forward, whether it's in defence or attack. Um, to be fair, their, their line speed was 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 phenomenal. So um, it did put a, a Tens as well as under a lot of pressure, but I think we played in the right areas, um, going air really. You know, Biggs was outstanding on the weekend. Um, you know, that's, that's that's great. We got to strengthen that. So um, similar sort of game plan on the weekend. 
uh, playing expansive rugby and we don't really want to shy away from that. You're not going to clam on, they very rarely lose at home. Runners up in Europe two of the last three years, runners up in the French League last season as well. That's a pretty impressive record and it makes it a tough place to go. Yeah, it's definitely be a tough place to go, but you know, a lot of teams and, and social media have you know, written us off last season and we came back with a bang and written us off as saying that we're not going to really be able to do much against Exeter on the weekend and you know, we're starting to prove people wrong and we're definitely going in the right direction and that, you know, that's the type of energy and you know, excitement we need to take to a team like this on the weekend. A few of the boys in the squad have been there when the hospital was there before. Have they told you what to expect when you get out there into what's a bit of a bare pit of an atmosphere? Yeah, it's quite enlightening actually. Beginning of the week, uh, Biggs sat us down and after our meeting and was saying it's probably the best best, uh, best place he's been to play club rugby. Um, you know, it's going to be a packed out, packed out stadium. Uh, it's going to be packed out probably about at least an hour before. So I think main key points for us is not to go into our shell, express ourselves and, you know, just enjoy it, the competition. We're in, we're lucky to be in it, so you know, it's, it's, it's great, great um, opportunity for us to express ourselves and um, you, know, you know, really show the rest of you know, what, we, what we can do. That's all for this week. Don't forget, the Ospreys have back-to-back home games coming up. The Cardiff Blues at the Liberty Stadium on Saturday the 20th of November and Bordeaux the following Saturday. Tickets for both games are on sale now. Buy your tickets at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets.